Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Okay, so the third boss of the FG Clash is up, and he's about to be done by tomorrow. I think it's the last round, so you, you have until after midnight a little bit. So we're gonna go and talk about the teams and the bosses. And I've talked before in my previous videos about how to defeat Loki, or at least to have a team that doesn't get frozen as much as uh, the rest and two key uh, things that you can use on different lineups to keep your team surviving and not get frozen or at least cheat the freeze mechanic as well so first of all we have something else we have the new trendy jewelry hopefully she she's gonna come in five days or three or four days after four days she's absolutely fantastic in her art i love the art i didn't see her in other versions probably she's unique she's a new they made her and we will have our starlight chaotic starlight now if you were lucky as me before and gormagal again uh, uh summoning as free to play and you got two copies of him with the 12 tickets that they gave you at the start of the release of the game you're gonna be having him at uh one starlight missing and you will get him to triple s i think Let's go and check my uh, Gormagala can right now, and he's... And here we have one, and I have another one, yeah. So one more, and he will be triple S. Finally, I'll be finishing him. I'm not gonna put any starlights anymore. I'm not gonna get him to plus two. Maybe, maybe not, but my plans are to continue other characters and uh, wait for other collaboration if they're gonna do, or if they will do a rerun for DDMC or anything else. So keep that in mind, hopefully this will be huge and big. And now let's go and talk about the Fiji boss. So if your guild have done a great job and if you get it at least to level 25 or 24, you'll have higher chances to defeat the boss, especially in the Halidom E. Now Halidom P, Halidom S, I, this is the one that you need to focus on now. If you have anybody from the top 10 or in the top 10 from your guild, you're set. You don't need to grind more. It doesn't matter the scoring if you get more scores or not. We have uh, someone from our guild in the top 10. So we're focusing all on these for the PV PvP or for defeating other guilds in the FG Clash when we get other guilds to fight. So let's go and check the scores and talk about the teams or uh, what you should use. Now, there's two major lineups that you can use with two units that will help you. Summer Elena, which is super helpful. You don't need her very built up but you need her if she's built up more and more that will buff your team and will help you more if you don't have her built up you need at least to get her on your lineup with one copy just for uh, her passive because she will do a dispelling of the freeze not dispelling of the uh, debuff but of the freeze so if you read the boss's mechanic uh, he has three basic things one with hinder which will hit you and if you are frozen you will die immediately at the end of the run if you deal that so much damage and when he does hinder and hit you with the spear your, the hinder will make you stand in your place and not move so you can't reach him and hit him with melee attack with range you can still hit him if you're in range the second attack which uh, the second skill which is his passive which we can negate with Zangief which is he will hit him and you will get a stack uh, or cold uh, stacks on you it's a debuff that can't be dispelled or removed so you can't cleanse that debuff and it will accumulate till 10. When you hit 10 uh, cold or frozen debuffs, you're gonna get, get frozen. Now when you get frozen into the ice cube, this you can dispel and you can unfreeze yourself or cleanse yourself and go back and hit the boss and it will reset the stacks. And there's two other skills that the boss uses and these skills has a percentage to freeze you immediately. And these are the ones that are RNG and you can place cleansing with them, but it will depend on some RNG for you to get the best one and the best result. So let's check the teams that I used and I've been using before. And uh, before that, I've been using Zangief with a Viper team. But here, you don't need to use uh, Flame Chun. You can use Flame Chun with the perfect RNG if you were so lucky. You'll not get frozen that much and you'll get relatively the same scores. But without her, even if you're playing, you can use Zangief here, hit with his C2 and continue with the C3 of uh, Flame Adon and you will deal the most damage with these lineups and uh, 5 billion, 6 billion, whatever you can hit, the ceiling is between 5 to 8 billion if your units are very well built. So 
uh, we don't use Virgil EX anymore in this lineup because you will not die because you will not get frozen and you do not get a, have the stacks so Hinder will not kill you so we will be always safe. Of course I'm using Kami and Vega EX you can replace it with anything else if you want but these are the EX moves that I'm using in Akuma EX. Why I'm using Akuma EX because the more that you build Aidon on attack the more that he will deal damage and we spoke about this before so you need to work with him with assault try not to use something else assault will help him a lot and if you don't know what assault is let me go and check and show you in the lineup so here's my Aelon I'm using on him assault this assault will give him attack bonus and after hitting eight times his attack will, or his final attack with that skill will deal even more damage this is why we accumulate a lot of damage with him so this is the first lineup that I've been using. It's absolutely amazing. Feilong, of course, you need him as an assist. And you can use anybody else as assist, but I'm using Mayakodi because he's buffed his uh, Aidon attack more and more. And I'm using this for crit rate, the Breath of Rage. But you can use something else as well. Now the second team, and I'm using the Akuma, Chun-Li, and uh, Summer Elena team. Now here, Summer Elena, I'm using on her, Kami. You can use Kami on her as attack position because every time she jumps, she does two effects or two trigger skills. And these skills, one of them, both of them will let Kami tag the boss with armor break, so Chun Li will deal even more damage. I'm using T Hawk on Akuma. T Hawk helps a lot with dispelling when Akuma starts his attack. So Akuma starts his attack, gets frozen, T Hawk effect get, kicks in and dispels him, and he becomes unfrozen so he can continue with his C2. Moreover, when you de uh, do this and you get frozen, Summer Elena will be immune to damage and she will not get frozen when she jumps in the battle and with her second trigger, she will remove the frozen stacks and everybody else or the, uh, the, froze, uh, the freeze that you will have when you get into frozen cube and you will remove that. And I continue with the C1 of uh, Suit Able, it heals, gives shields, C2 of Akuma, C3 of Chun-Li, more combo meter, everything happy dandy. Now I'm using this EX move as well, the Summer Elena EX move, because when you're frozen, you can click it and unfreeze all your lineup, even if you didn't dispel with T-Hawk or with Summer Elena. So this will help you even more to accumulate more damage. And I'm using, of course, the drones. Anytime that I have it av available, I click it, so I will get more combo meter and a little bit more damage. Virgil EX here, I use it. Sometimes I don't use it. I think with the best score I didn't use it or I used it, I don't remember, but uh, it doesn't matter even if you don't have it. Now use anything with shields or anything with heals will not work. Heals will heal you, but it will not be saving you from the frozen. If you're frozen and you heal to max HP and he hits you with the hinder with the spear, the boss, Loki, you will still die. And the last team, which is the, the v Visconde Vega with his EX, I I'm not using his EX. You can use his EX, his he EX is absolutely insane, it helps you a lot and add a lot of damage. You can use any EX that you uh, need here. So this is what I'm using. And yeah, Hugo, I pulled a copy of him and he works magnificently. His buff with his C1 is absolutely insane. I'm happy that I have him. Until I have Athlete Chun-Li built, I will start using her because her, she is a monster and she adds a lot of DPS if she's triple S with 6 out of 6 cars. Now I'm using Witchy Jury on him so he will accumulate even more HP because he drops low on HP. Rose for buffing and using her C2 will not attack the boss so she will not get the freeze and she will not get frozen that much. And I'm using Gorma Galakan for all the buffs and he's a trigger so I'm using Yan on him. Yan every time he triggers or every time Gorma Galakan triggers he drops in, does a little bit of damage plus he will give you combo meter. This is what you need to know about all of this run. Best of luck to everybody. Let's go and check uh, the replays really quick of my lineups. This is the first lineup. Let's go and check how it goes. So let me go to X4. And at 51 seconds I start actually. So Kami and Vega AX immediately when I have it, I drop it in. And then uh, I drop at 55 seconds, I drop the Akuma AX. So it accumulates a little bit of damage and it's below the 10 seconds. So I will accumulate the attack buffs and it will not help. Uh, it will not fade away. I start at 51 and then I use uh, Street Poison, Zangief, uh, Fire Aidon, and then I will start with Honda, Street Poison, uh, Zangief, then Fire Aidon until the end of the battle. It doesn't matter if I get frozen in some intervals, but because of some intervals, he does his ultimate skill, the boss, Loki, 
he just blows uh, wind on you and he will freeze you no matter what happens. So this is how we just counter this. It was fun, it was easy. This is the team that is the most reliable and less RNG unless you get frozen with his, uh, with his skill. The second team which is a little bit of RNG and needs a little bit of discipline and to pay attention of the timing if you got frozen or not. Let's check it out. So of course I wait until 51 seconds because he blows his breath, he frees you, you get unfreeze, you go and hit the boss. So I drop the drones as soon as possible and immediately at 51 seconds I start with Akuma and look at this and he does this freeze, I didn't get freeze so I start with Akuma, C1 able. C2 Akuma, C3 uh, Chun-Li, and this is how I go until the end of the battle, the same lineup, it's really quick, as you see I'm getting frozen and then unfrozen because of Summer Elena, I use the EX move of Summer Elena when she's out of the combo, so it means I'm fully frozen, I want to continue, and I do that, I do the EX move of Virgil, as you see everybody survived, and it doesn't matter, it wouldn't kill me, I will be on low HP, but it wouldn't kill me, this is not the best lineup, of course, if you have uh, Schoolgirl Elena, if you have uh, Trendy Guile, if you have Oni, if you have uh, the new Akuma, Trendy Akuma, they will deal even more damage. Uh, Viper, uh, Chief Viper, will deal even more damage on this lineup. If you have them built, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, on the third lineup, I'm using uh, the SS uh, rank or SS plus of Visgon de Vega. Now, if you have him at triple S with six out of six cars, you will 100% hit 3 to 4 billion with him, which is the second highest damage dealer right now in the game. Now, of course, if you don't have Wrestling Hugo and you build Athlete Chun Li, I recommend that you use her. If you have any kind of C1 that will buff your attack, that will be helpful. Some people are using Elena. I've seen my friends tell me because they want to survive. Now, you can use, of course, anybody else with healing to help you. I'm using Witch Jury on him. This is what keeps me healing. If you have the other Vega on him, as an assist that's absolutely insane or fashion can that will help a lot now you can replace wrestling hugo if you're a paying customer with rufus rufus is absolutely magnificent and he's of course built to five stars if you have him at, at, at legendary plus 20 is good plus 30 is the way to go six out of six you'll absolutely get the buffs that you want and you wreck the team so let's go and check the replay and this is how the replay goes uh, as soon and here I will I will get it to plus one uh, to x1 speed so I can show you a little bit of how I managed to go with this this is so easy even if you're frozen with uh, Vega it doesn't matter because you can wait on him with the c2 so we start with the ex move and I start with Vega <clears throat> now after I start with Vega I use the c1 of Hugo c2 of uh, uh, Rose, then C3 of Vega. Vega is frozen, I wait a little bit, it doesn't matter. I start with Vega, drop the AX. C1 of Hugo, C2 of Rose, C3 of Vega. Now, the next ultimate from Vega, I will get frozen. I wait, I wait, I wait, and then I use the C1 of Hugo, C2 of Rose, C3 of Vega. Vega does not need to go back to back, back to back, back to back. You only need to just wait, give him the buff with the C1. As you see, I'm waiting, waiting, then I'm dropping the C1 of Hugo. Then C2 of Rose, C3 of Vega. It doesn't matter, you will always deal the damage that you need. Now, because he's not that very well built for me, this is why I'm not dealing the most damage with him. But if you build him that much, he will deal so much damage. He is the highest second dam or the second best damage dealer right now for these mods in the game. So keep that in mind. This was easy, it's all about timing, so you don't need to mess it up. And this is what we're gonna talk about this. Best of luck for everybody else. And as you see, we have somebody from our guild in the top ranking. I think it's me right now. Maybe Tito didn't do his runs. Yeah, probably Tito didn't do his runs. If he does his runs, you will deal better. And yeah, that was it uh, for the video. I'll keep the runs for the previous ones that I did six months ago or something like that with uh, Zangief with the different teams that I did. In the video description or you can search it in the channel it's still there for effigy bosses and yeah i will see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace Time to fight. Time to fight.